thank you arkes for agreeing to make this short uh, interview yeah okay, sure no problem and uh, it as i got many questions from different bachelor students for yes. uh, regarding queries about admission and other questions of doing bachelors in netherlands yes so as i knew you before so i contacted you and yes. you it's very nice that you can join and maybe you can briefly introduce yes. yourself and then yes. we can start with the questions yes sure uh, so my name is arkesh chatterji um basically from kolkata west bengal in india but okay. i have lived most of my life in uh, chennai because i have been studying in chennai for the past 5 years as in before coming to university i was studying there um mm-hmm. i finished my schooling there in maharishi international residential school and then i moved to uh, tue and i am going to finish my computer science bachelor degree over here and the then I, I, I eindhoven right yes in tue eindhoven tue yeah, okay okay and then i'm going to finish and my what's your uh, stream of bachelor's i mean the faculty computer science uh, computer, computer science, science. Yes, okay i'm going to okay. finish it this year and then mm-hmm. uh, I plan to move on to doing masters maybe uh, in TUE or somewhere else but I haven't decided that where but I'm going to apply and then decide. Okay okay thank you. Yes. Uh so maybe I'll start with the questions. Yes. So I think this is a very generic question yes. maybe you can just add something the briefly like what are the requirements to get into bachelor's is it like uh, maybe you can just tell in brief because I think there are uh, websites yes. but still like Yes so uh, basically uh, each university uh, most of the TU universities have the same uh, requirements which is getting the getting a grade above A or A plus in your mm-hmm. basic subjects that is your physics maths uh, and uh, computer science and okay. every other subject should have a minimum A uh, or a B plus but uh... i think they look for A A A or A plus that's your grade that should be there or a minimum five subjects should have an A grade or higher Okay if i understand you correctly you mean like uh, when you come from suppose india like yes. you have the mark sheet uh, okay the yeah so a means it should be within which range i mean so in different so basically con- right now in C- i came from cbse board okay so okay they give us grades uh, instead of marks final they give a percentage of marks and they give us mm-hmm. a grades of it so a is supposed okay. to be from um 80 to uh, 90 and a plus is 90 plus okay so 80 to 90% yeah uh, 80 to 90% is a so minimum mm-hmm. fi- your ma- minimum five subjects should be a and okay. physics and maths it's like for me it was uh, physics maths and computer science uh, should be grade a to a plus above for applying for cs okay uh, whatever the stream that depends upon the changes on the stream but minimum grade mm-hmm. should be a on five subjects In okay so it's five, like above 80% yeah. yes above 80% in all the five subjects okay and you also need the the IELTS or TOEFL right yes like... i gave toefl uh, i gave toefl two times because first mm-hmm. time i got a score of uh, 88 but uh, if it's above 80 they uh, when i wrote a 88 they accepted it but okay. i think right right now it's should 90. be above 90 Yeah I mean yes. during my masters also it is something like that but I don't know it changes every year so I think right I don't now know it's above 90 in bachelor so okay okay you also write a motivation letter or it's not required in bachelor um no it's not required in bachelor because uh, what I submitted was from my teachers the letter okay. of recommendation ah okay but, the lor okay yes but I I don't think that is required it's it's okay. an additional document but I don't think it's completely required okay and you don't need gre and all right No, no, not for bachelors. Oh, okay, IELTS okay. or TOEFL for bachelors. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. So maybe we can go for the next question. Yes. So this is again very generic. So you need to tell it in based on your experience. It may not be true for everyone. Yes. Uh, how? I think I can combine these two questions. So maybe like adapting. I mean, you are coming from after completing your class twelve, as we say in India, to here. So regarding the adaptation to the dutch curriculum and the difficulty of the courses so maybe just a brief yes first of all in when i first came to tue uh, uh the courses are really uh, um a really high level okay and uh, it's really tough because you have three subjects and uh, per quarter and those subjects are not easy at all 
and mm-hmm. you finish it in 3 years or maybe sometimes you take more time like just like me you know to finish in 3 and a half years or 4 years yeah yeah and um, so it's tough because it is a really high level mm-hmm. and you do a lot of research work because TU is a research based university so it's okay. a lot of research work and mm-hmm. uh, another thing is the atmosphere is really overwhelming because, at least for me because there's mm-hmm. like 200 students in a class and sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't get any attachment with most of the students you find you feel yourself isolated for me mm-hmm. that's the case in the first year yeah, yeah and yeah, yeah. Uh, teachers are not really that interactive because they're teaching 200 students uh, they might ask answer some questions but then they, they can't give you personal time and you don't feel that connection with the teachers sometimes so yes that's all i can say as from my experience okay okay and i think it is possible to maybe book appointment later and then meet them right like yes, it for is any possible. questions yes. or something yes. but you need to book appointment i mean yes, like you need to book it's not that and... they're always busy right yes exactly yeah not like in india where yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really different that's all i can say so yeah yeah okay 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 uh so i mean if you want to say in one line so what would you say like to for newcomers who are coming for doing bachelors like to adjust to this and what they should do according to you like uh, i would say the first 6 months may be really challenging because okay. it's completely different mm-hmm. but once you get used to it you can really aim for success because it gets you get used to it and it's a really competitive environment then mm-hmm. you're built in that pressure you can handle more pressure you can mm-hmm. Yeah, you get used to it and you can handle yourself better in higher level of studies. That's all I can say. But the first six months may be difficult a bit. Depends upon the person. At least for me, it was difficult. But yes. And you also get time in weekends, right? Or is it too busy? Like uh... no, no, no. I mean, it's not like you have to study every single time because you get time mm-hmm. to spend time with your friends. Uh, you can okay. if you if you plan well, you have time for everything. And mm-hmm. uh, or else because. It depends upon students. Like some people like yeah, yeah, they yeah. tend to study just before the exams or tend to work just for the exams. But mm-hmm. over here, you do a lot of projects, you do a lot of assignments and tasks. So you have yeah. to be on on your foot every single week. But then mm-hmm. you have time to spend. Like you have free time to play. You have time to go out and spend time with your friends. So yeah. there is time for everything. Okay. 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 So let's move to the other question. Uh, yes. If you want to do job immediately after bachelor's. How is the? I mean, what is your experience? Like, if you, if someone doesn't, does not want to study masters and want to do jobs, job immediately, then is the opportunity good for only bachelor's degree or? Um, what I, I mean, at least is, in CS, you can tell about only CS because yes, you are. What I've CS. heard is from my seniors, like when I asked for suggestions, mm-hmm. they told me that um, it's better to do masters for a higher level of job, but. Yeah, okay. You will surely, you can surely get a job from after mm-hmm. completing bachelor's because in TUE it's um, it's a research base, so it might be niche. But mm-hmm. suppose you're coming to a university like Fontes Applied Sciences, a lot of students yeah, okay, after okay. completing okay. bachelor's they go into job because Indian students or international students they do take a job because okay. it's more closely related to companies. You're working with lots of companies closely related to them because you're doing practical work there. Mm-hmm. So it's easier. So to- the Salary might not be that high, but yes. the work is similar to what they have studied or done before. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah. Because then to get a higher level of job, you need to get the higher degree. Mm-hmm. But you can always okay. do your masters after two years, or maybe it depends upon you. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think we have only two more questions. So I think this will be difficult to answer, but if you can, otherwise I will remove this. Like. Uh, yes. uh, Based on your experience, uh, now you are in third year, right? Uh, fourth year, because I took an additional year uh, because of my projects ah, and okay. stuff. So I have to finish. Okay, it okay, okay. Years. Yeah, how long is your uh, final? I mean, just like we do master thesis for nine months or one year, so you also have a project of six months, six or is months, it more? Yes. Six months. Okay, okay, okay. So that is also some kind of a research uh, uh, project, right? Like, yes, it depends upon what you choose as your sp- like. You can have a specialization too because you have other streams too. Like you can take additional subjects in TUE. Mm-hmm. Just like I mean, you have your 180 credits and then you can have additional subjects too. So, and that one, apart from the research in the university, you can also do it in with a company or no, no, with the not- university. Like 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 okay. your electives. So then you take a special course co- course package and you have electives. So they are like additional subjects 
different from your stream what you're studying it's like oh, okay. additional knowledge okay, so, okay but okay. your thesis is based on your mainstream so you do your thesis based on your mainstream but if you really want you can do an additional project on your additional stream also but for me it's only in the mainstream right now i have taken additional subjects in all my years but right now it's only for my mainstream i'm going to finish my project in this year okay so the the question was that uh, when you applied did you also look for i mean do you have any idea of any comparison of the bachelors here and maybe us or canada or something like that like um i can talk uh, i can talk so i can talk something about it because some of my one of my friend has gone to canada and some of them okay. already studying in india but okay. um, in those countries is four years bachelors in us yeah, yeah 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 because here i think it's science and there yes. they call it just like india like technology i mean btech yes. or i don't know and like. uh, yes over here it is uh, uh, bsc yeah, yeah bachelor of science and they are btech so that's the difference there and um, apart from that i think the level of study is like the structure of study in india and us they are almost the same but oh, okay. in europe at least netherlands here is really different so mm-hmm. i mean you know um, people and it's more research based than what i understand and it's really different it's not the same as other countries so mm-hmm. you have to mentally be prepared of how you, how pressuring is going to be because you're completing the same th- same type of material courses in 3 years instead of 4 years so mm-hmm. it's going to be really challenging but yes that's all okay. i think i can say okay okay thank you so the last question is uh, yeah i think this is very general like uh I mean apart from this do you want to give any other advice to the the incoming people who are coming to Netherlands for bachelors or something like yeah, that Yeah um my advice would be uh, first of all learn to cook I think that's a really okay. uh, uh, interesting yeah, point Yeah I mean I have also said that many times in many videos but that's the best way to save money and also yes. to be happy I mean like Exactly yes and one more thing is that a uh, personal experience that you might feel homesick Uh, mm-hmm. because if if you if you're staying with the if you have been staying with the parents or staying uh, studying in a school where you go back to your house not in a boarding school or hostel you might feel homesick because okay. i have seen one of my few of my friends feeling that and they like they want to go back home they can't take handle the pressure but mm-hmm. uh, it's like it's just going through, it's just a phase which usually you have to pass through within the 6 months and if you can really pass through that then it becomes easier for you and you can really excel and uh, and one more thing is that if you're coming here to study you really need to think that your main goal here is to come and study because uh, or else it becomes really hard because mm-hmm. you have to cope up with a lot of subjects and its difficulty is high so if you really want to invest on that then you come here or else you know you can look for universities where it's same structure as in india you can go to united states canada australia somewhere else yes that's okay. all that i can give an advice on Okay okay thank you very much for uh, uh I mean just helping the people out there with yes. all these questions yes. and thank you very much no problem no problem